It's a scene out of The Sound of Music had the Turks actually successfully conquered Vienna and made it into Europe. The air is as crisp as the Swiss Alps. The food is very similar. I had some cheese for breakfast with some Nutella. Today we're going to walk into town and see what we can find and maybe we'll go mountain climbing and you know we'll see how far up this hill we can get. The lake is uh, dotted by lakeside cafes where you can uh, hang out and have a coffee, maybe eat a kebab. And yeah, this is the surroundings. Hello, marhaba. Hello. So that lovely couple is from Kuwait. And uh, yeah, from what I understand, there are a lot of Arab tourists here who are escaping the heat. And do you blame them? We're not in the hot sands of the desert here. Yeah, take a look at this view. It doesn't get much prettier than this. We got two bros over there hanging out. And so yeah, we continue. It's a little amphitheater here, which is pretty cool. Very beautiful. So onwards we go. I don't think you need my commentary, so I'm just gonna, you know, do another panorama here, because man, what a beautiful place. We made it to the center of town here in Uzengol, and uh, yeah, it's sleepy. There's like a little market over there. And uh, yeah, it's dotted by all these, you know, resort, little hotels, little cabins, little chalets, as they say in Switzerland. And yeah, there's, there's really not much happening here, right? So what do people do here? They just hang out at the cafe, enjoy this view. How could you not? And yeah, have a time. They don't go to the spa though, because uh, honestly, I checked into probably the nicest hotel in this town just for the spa, and it's closed. And I'm still bummed. But look at this. Beautiful mosque too. So, we're gonna hang out and chill here for a little bit. I think the plan is we're gonna try and uh, hike up those hills and see how far up we get and see what kind of view we get from up there. So, stay tuned. Yeah, the town is dead. It's, uh, there's really not much happening here. So, let's not waste any time. Let's, uh, let's start climbing these mountains and see how far we get. It's about, 10 30 in the morning so yeah let's see let's see where we get let's see if there's any action happening uh once we get through this little alleyway no nope, nothing happening so yeah let's go uh let's go climb some hills so this is the mosque it looks like this is the road up so i think let's just see how far this road takes us and uh see you guys somewhere up higher than here we're walking up the hill and uh, yeah, I could start feeling the altitude or maybe it's the multitude of cigarettes I've smoked on this trip, but yeah, really beautiful. You can see two women plowing the fields in the distance here. So what do the men do? The men smoke cigarettes and drink tea and the women tend the fields. So the mosque is there. We're going to try and go way up there. Let's see if I can do it. We are a bit higher up, no views yet. There's a mosque over there, so I think I'm gonna go explore the mosque. Oh, I don't know, the views are getting pretty nice. I hope this isn't somebody's yard, but it might be. Oh. So, yeah, take a look at this minaret. Really, really cool, right? It's a little graveyard here too. I'm gonna stop and take a picture and uh, let's see if we can get inside. It's just such a beautiful view, right? Let's see. Oh yeah, you see 
see that? So let's go have a look, shall we? Gorgeous. So Mecca's this way. Look at the wood. Unbelievable. Peaceful and tranquil. So beautiful. It's an enchanting experience having a mosque all to yourself, especially when you open the door and you discover the doors are unlocked and it leads to another door, which leads to another door. And uh, then you open it and you're in a house of God. It's uh, quite a feeling. So this is right outside the mosque. You can see the minaret. And uh, yeah, just beautiful, isn't it? There's not much else to say other than that. But we continue our journey up the hill. I think it's actually this way and then around. And uh, yeah, imagine growing up here. What a beautiful town. Marhaba. You know, I was completely wrong. We're just going up this way. So, you know, I just wasted a bunch of energy and time, but it's all right. I feel strong. We've gone up a little bit and the view of the lake begins to emerge and we're gonna go higher and see how, uh, how nice it gets. So upwards we go. And uh, she saw the camera and then she got super shy. I, she's like, what the hell? So yeah, we'll get there. But so we've come across a very, very beautiful picturesque scene here uh, so this is the decision I need to make if we go this way I think we could go halfway up this hill I'm not exactly sure there's a pathway leading up all the way up to the highest buildings over there I think to get there we need to go around this way it's about 11 in the morning so whichever way I go we have time even if I make a mistake so um, here's a sign that I see and it says the Glislura apartment here is six and a half kilometers this way. And so that means that I think the trail is going to go six and a half kilometers this way. It says there's a, another villa that goes nine kilometers this way. And so I don't think that I can make a mistake here. Um, and in that case, I think I'm gonna go this way. We're gonna cross the little, little brook here and then uh, hopefully, uh, yeah, I don't like die or get whisked away by the rapids here. Uh, there's a stepping stones here. So why don't we, uh, one, two, three, just like that. So look at this. We've come a little bit down this hill and it's becoming clear. It's six and a half kilometers down this way and probably around the hill. I'm trying to go up the hill. There's a pathway up to, you know, that little building right there. I'm, and again, I'm not exactly sure how to get up that way. I honestly believe, I just don't even know what to think. I guess we could go up there and see what's going on. I just don't want to burn a bunch of energy, but I think there's probably water and refreshments up there just to recharge and try and get higher. So I think that's sort of the plan here is we're gonna go up that path and I'll see you at the top up there. The God's honest truth is um, the view is getting pretty, pretty good. And maybe we don't even need to climb up to the top to get a nice view. So. We still got a little ways to go, but that's what's happening in Jesus. So gorgeous. And I believe I have found the uh, prettiest site here in Uzengol, which is up these steps through that trail. Because if you go a little higher, the view is going to get, um, it's going to look smaller. And if you get closer, it's going to be obstructed by the hills. And so this is what I believe is the nicest view here in Uzengol. We're going to go up there and have a tea, but yeah, we saw the village. It's really sleepy. It's really quiet. All these buildings you see here, they're all little hotels for people to come and hang out. But because of the coronavirus, it's pretty empty. My hotel over there is at the end of the lake. It's actually through the little valley over there. 
and so yeah just sit here and admire the views don't mind my uh my commentary here because you really need it i'll see you in a few it's a lovely little terrace here where you get a view of Uzingal. I ordered some tea, some water. There's nobody here. I could order shisha, but um, yeah, after exercise, smoking after exercise, it's a thing to do, right? I didn't even bring my cigarettes. So yeah, I'm just gonna admire the view here for a little bit. And uh, thanks for joining me. This is uh, Uzingal Turkey.